everyone, my name is Adriana Vélez. I am a molecular biology student from the University of Puerto Rico in Rio Piedras, and this summer I'm conducting research in Dr. Mariana Wolfner's lab at Cornell University. Mariana Wolfner's lab is interested in using molecular biology and genetics to understand reproductive and developmental processes that occur in Drosophila melanogaster. Approximately 60% of genes associated with genetic diseases in humans are found in the fly genome, so you can imagine the importance of understanding reproductive and developmental phenomena in flies. This summer, my project consists of studying the role of two genes that codify for phospholipases and a gene involved in zinc transport. We want to know what role do these genes play in egg activation. But first of all, what is egg activation? Egg activation is the conserved process by which mature oocytes transition from a rest in a species-specific stage at the end of oogenesis to initiating embryonic development. This process is characterized by a rise in intracellular calcium, which is what you see happening in this video. The rise is initiated by calcium influx, and previous genetic data suggests that inositol triphosphate pathway propagates the rise into a wave. We're interested in evaluating if the proteins encoded by small wing or phospholipase C21C genes are required for the calcium wave propagation. Another key process in egg activation seen in humans and other mammals, but not known in Drosophila, is the release of zinc ions from the oocyte. Inactivating oocyte zinc efflux follows the calcium rise which is what you see happening right now in the video. The zinc sparks are a marker of the developmental potential of the oocyte to become a zygote. To understand better egg activation triggers in Drosophila, we will assess the role of a known zinc transporter regulated during egg activation in Drosophila. For these studies, we are using CRISPR-Cas9 to knock out these three genes, and confocal imaging will be used to evaluate the calcium waves. Developmental biology involves key processes such as growth, genetic control, and differentiation. So if you want to grow in this field and do cutting-edge research, you should definitely choose development.